everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Style by Ara. I post two videos every week and I post them Sundays and Wednesdays now. And I post a lot of lifestyle vlogs and now um, career advice, college advice, networking tips, and now posting more beauty and fashion videos on here as well. Just kind of having a wide range of things that I'm passionate and about and into so if you guys like any of those please subscribe and make sure you stick around for this video it's going to be a chit chat get ready with me video where i show you just my makeup and then i will link it in the description box below like all the products that i use in case you liked anything and then um yeah stick around for this look and i kind of just like hang out with me thanks so i really wanted to film a chit chat get ready with me video because I just wanted to kind of get uh, a little more personal on my channel and really um, talk about what's going on in my life and um, yeah I guess like in vlogs you really see little bits and pieces of it but I felt like this was going to be just a little um, more personal. So I'm going to just clip away my like baby hairs and my bangs. And I have moisturizer on, I have a couple blemishes as you can see, and I have redness on my skin. My skin is pretty oily as well, and it just, it does not like me. <laughs> my skin doesn't break out like crazy, but I definitely get scarring, so I have a couple, um, so don't mind that. Anyway, I really wanted to kind of talk to you guys as I do my makeup and, um, get ready for the day. I think today I'm going to go and find some items for my uh, fall haul that I want to do and um, my like fall outfits video that I also want to film and there's just like a lot of um, pieces that I need for the video and um, I definitely have like the bases covered, but I want to get a few more like trendy items because I tend to not really follow trends. I just, um, I don't know why I, I viewed as fashion, I viewed fashion as more like a chance for me to really showcase what I'm into and not really what the world is into, if that makes sense. But as I kind of get older, I'm kind of digging more of the, and I, as I get like more into social media. I definitely want to try some of those things that maybe are out of my comfort zone and just give it a chance because you never know if you're gonna like something and just because it's trendy doesn't mean it's bad either so that's why there's a few items that I want to get and I'm going to film that this weekend I really like I have most of the items there's a couple things that I actually ordered from online so I'm waiting for those to come in and then um, yeah I'm going to pick up some pieces today and uh, hopefully film that this weekend because I want to get it posted now that it's officially fall I mean the thing is that in California it's still pretty warm so it's kind of hard to get into that fall mentality for me I don't know because I'm from Oregon and you definitely get seasons there. I mean, I'm from Central Oregon where you do get snow, you get like all seasons. So I'm really just, I'm missing that. And right now it just feels like it's still summer. It's really hard. Like this weekend, it's going to be 95, 100 degrees. So it's really hard to get into that. Like, oh, it's like crispy and cold outside and um, warm drinks, warm coffee, hot chocolate, all of those fall things. I just like, my mind is very confused because, I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Like it's, it doesn't know that it's fall yet because it's so warm here that I literally have to wear shorts when I take my dog on a walk because it's warm. But yeah, I just wanted to chat and then kind of just tell you guys more about what's going on in my life. So I'm still working from home. I'm actually projected to work from home uh, until June. And if you didn't know, I'm an engineer and I work for Intel now. 
and we're projected to, at least my team and a lot of like the groups in my division are projected to work from home for a lot longer than December. So it's just, it's kind of, I mean, there's good and bad things about it. Good things are I still get to keep my like really flexible schedule and I love that. And I also get to really protect myself and be safe at home which I never want to take for granted, obviously, but some days it gets really, really hard because um, it's just, I don't know, it's really hard to feel like seeing the negative things about working from home because people have it a lot worse than me, you know, and I get that guilt, that like corporate guilt about how good I have it, so that's where I've been kind of just like, I don't know, I have mixed feelings because I should not be complaining about working from home. But honestly, some days it gets to me just constantly being in my apartment and also having a significant other that is also working from home. And like lately, I've, it's definitely been getting to me and um, it's hard to really see the light at the end of this because feels like this is the new normal but it's so hard to be okay with this new normal uh sorry i have a mirror down there so if you guys are confused on why i'm looking down here it's because i have a mirror <laughs> yeah it's really hard to feel grateful but also be realistic and be honest with myself on how it is hard to be productive sometimes and it is hard to just kind of like not feel guilty when I'm away from my laptop because I know it's in the room over or it's like right behind me like this is my desk area this is where I work from home and it's literally in my bedroom so it's really hard to separate like my normal life from working from home so that's kind of where I have been at I don't know if anyone else is in the same boat as me and just kind of it's really starting to get to me but again, at the same time, I should be grateful, right? Because people have to risk their lives every day right now during COVID to feed their families and all of that. So it just, yeah, that's where I've been at. But more on work. I actually have been really considering getting my master's and I'm debating on if I want to pursue a technical route or if I want to go more business with Intel. Like I just... I just can't decide which route I want to take, so um, that's the only thing really holding me back from picking a program and applying for it just because I'm still looking into which route I want to take, but I definitely want to pursue my master's degree because that's what I actually was going to do if I wasn't going to go into the industry. I was going to um, get my master's right after my undergrad. but then this opportunity came up with intel and obviously i just i had to take it like this opportunity wasn't gonna come right away with such ease that it did so yeah i just i took it and i'm definitely thankful of where i'm at because i can also pursue my masters while i work so i wouldn't even take um time off to pursue my masters i would do it at the same time and Intel is really good about supporting their co-workers with that. So, I mean, I gotta take every opportunity that I can. I've always been that way. I'm always looking for more that I can do because I never want to feel like I missed out on anything. <laughs> LOL, FOMO. <laughs> but no, seriously, like I just, I'm very much about taking any opportunity that you can and just seizing the moment because I mean opportunities slip by all the time and I don't want to feel like when I'm older and I'm having my midlife crisis that I missed out on something that I should have just done so on that note I've also been considering going abroad for a couple years for with my career because we are a global company but at the same time, I just, 
I don't know if there's gonna be, uh, like I wanna stay in my current position or if I want to branch out to a broader Intel location. And just deciding all of that is, it's kind of scary, but at the same time, it's so cool that I can have any opportunity um, that's like this. And so I've definitely been considering going abroad as well, but I don't know what that looks like. I don't know if I really want to take it on right now, but I, again, I want to seize every moment and I've been loving the Bay Area. I never would have pictured myself moving from Oregon right away. And if anything, I thought I would move to the East Coast because I just felt like there was a lot of really nice companies on the other side too. But I didn't, so I started off in mechanical engineering, but then I ended up adding electrical engineering to my education. And so I graduated with two degrees. It wasn't a dual degree program. I just did both at the same time. And I took like 23 credits every semester. And I literally almost killed myself just from, not literally, but I almost just like lost it because I was exhausted. I literally was not sleeping well. And I was working three campus jobs. Um, freshman through junior year. And then senior year I was work working a 20 to 25 hour internship with a pharma tech company and I would commute every morning or after my classes in the afternoon evening and my schedule was just not I wouldn't recommend it to anyone to be honest as much as I wish I I would I I just wouldn't because I was also balancing being like president of clubs and I literally when I say I get involved in everything I get involved in everything like that is my personality I just like to take everything on and I like to do everything and I don't recommend it to really anyone it was exhausting and um, I didn't pursue other things that I liked outside of um, my education which was like YouTube and making videos like I'd always wanted to do this but I um, just never made the time for it yeah I just I've had a really interesting path and it's not typical and I don't want to say I have regrets but I definitely wish I'd slowed down a little bit so now that I am in the industry and working I want to slow down a little bit but also take every opportunity that I can so and now <laughs> like the first month after graduation I literally just did nothing because I was so exhausted from school so yeah I guess just find balance I would say with that I would say don't kill yourself from exhaustion because it will catch up to you and I know we all like to think that we can do everything but we can't and I wish I recognized that more when I was in school because um, it really did take a toll on me. But yeah, anyway, I don't want to be such a downer. So um, let's see, other things that are going on. My sister's getting married. She's going to have a really small, uh, close-knit, intimate wedding. And it's I think it's so cute. Like her theme is really cute. And I don't want to give too many details just because it's it's her thing and I don't want to overshare anything on here, but it's going to be soon and I'll actually be going to Oregon in a couple weeks just to go um, help her find some things and do the classic bridesmaid stuff, kind of honor stuff. So that's really exciting. I'm actually super, super excited about that. Um, and yeah, it's gonna happen, and then but yeah, she's like one of my favorite people, and I cannot wait 
to do a bunch of this like wedding stuff with her even though it is like a small intimate wedding i think you can do a lot with it and obviously it's because of covid and it's really hard to do anything like that but her and her fiance have been engaged for a while and they just kind of wanted to do it and um yeah i'm super happy for them that there's a positive thing coming out of this year for us and um yeah i just there's a lot of things that i've been also just trying to see the bright side of it because it's really hard to feel positive sometimes and and i've been reading this one book oh i can't remember it it's I'll link it below if I <laughs> can remember to do it, but anyway, it's this really good book um, that is all about finding your place at the table and also just finding um, your faith at the same time through that because, or using your faith through that because uh, I am a Christian and I honestly my four years in college, as much as I try to like be part of a, a faith club and all these things and go to church every Sunday and um, I would go through flows, ups and downs of my faith and how strong it was and honestly it was because I was so busy I never put it as a priority and now I'm really trying to make it more of a priority and Sometimes with work though, I also make an excuse and say, oh, I can't, I'm too tired or, you know, and it's, we all can make excuses for the things that we don't want to prioritize. And that's one thing that I have been working on. And then um, I've been really getting into brainstorming some video ideas on what type of videos and content I can put out on here and I really want to do more fashion and beauty videos because honestly I've always been into that like my friends know that my family knows that I've always thought it's so fun and um yeah I'm just trying to find things that make me happy and make me kind of just take my mind off of life sometimes and YouTube does that for me and I know I was so scared about starting my YouTube videos and sharing it with people from college, people from high school and just people that follow me on Instagram for so long. I was scared about sharing it because I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to judge me, they're going to make fun of me, they're going to think this is stupid, um, like what am I doing and all this stuff and I really almost let them like my insecurities and um, what could be, what could have been, um, almost stopped me from pursuing YouTube. And I just wanna say that you should never let others um, define what you do because I think that's something that I've always struggled with and I've always been like, oh my gosh, what about if they say this? What about if they think this? And honestly, like it does not matter. It, does not matter what they think because at the end of the day you and only you alone can judge yourself and God is like he is the one who really judges you at the end of the day if you believe in him and I really I really think that and I've been starting to really just ingrain it in my head because I've always been insecure about what people may think. And so this book that I've been reading touches on that a lot. And so I really want to share it with you guys. Um, I'll try to remember to put it in this video. Like I've always been scared about also showing like my fashion and my makeup obsession on Instagram and like with people who know me in real life because I was so scared about what they may think. And now I'm just like, you know what, whatever. Like if they want to judge me, they can't. But I have literally gotten nothing but really nice feedback about my YouTube and um, my like side hustles of my small business and um, on Instagram as well. And I cannot be like more, I cannot be more thankful about 
the positive feedback that I've gotten from um, my like hobbies on the side. So, I mean, I was scared for nothing, literally. I bet people are judging me, but who cares? Because they're not telling me, so. I think that may be the finished look. And I went all over the place. I don't even know if this video made sense. I'm sorry if it didn't. Um, and, but I really hope that you guys got to know me on a more personal note and um, I really also want to just talk about how I want to make like broader range of videos about more like maybe a q and A. I'll I'll probably do that soon once I hit like a certain number of subscribers. I want to do a q and A on maybe like politics. Um, you know, I am a Latina engineer, maybe you guys, if you guys are also in that boat or um, something like that, I, w I think it would be cool to make a Q&A video on all these things and you guys can really get to know me. And I want to make sure that I am transparent on my videos because um, that's how I am on Instagram. Like I definitely am vocal about issues that are going on right now and I want to also be that way on YouTube but it's definitely it's more um, complicated to kind of make a video about everything that's going on politically and just socially because like how to I don't know if you guys have an idea on how I can make a video on that and share my opinions let me know because on Instagram it's easier. I put it on my story or I'll make a post about it or something like that. But then it's, yeah, it's harder to do something like that on YouTube because I can't really like repost stuff on here, right? So yeah, let me know if you guys have an idea on that because I definitely want to talk more about that in my videos and just be more transparent. Um, and I touched a little bit on some issues when I talked about my small business in my vlog previously to this because my small business proceeds will be going to issues that I really believe in and I believe in um, farm workers right now and I believe in immigration and students who can't afford uh, digital devices to view their classes. I literally am so passionate about so many things and. Um, like before I wanted to be an engineer, I wanted to be a lawyer, I wanted to be social work and go into that and help other people and so, um, but now I actually think that being an engineer gives me a lot more of a voice because I, like my comp company has a lot of influence and they have a lot of um, like programs that we can volunteer through and mentor our students through and I think that's really cool that I also get to do that while I'm an engineer. So. Um, anyway, I just kind of rambled a little bit, but yeah, let me know if you guys want to see other videos where you guys really get to know more about, um, other things that I have opinions on, and, um, I'd love to also do kind of more like a discussion, um, on certain issues, so yeah, let me know, but this is the finished look, um, and then I curled my hair a little bit not too much after I showered and one thing I've been also um, thinking about as I really pursue my social media endeavors is I'm also always worried that people think that because you're into fashion and beauty and like these materialistic things that people think that you're not passionate or willing to be an advocate for heavy issues and I don't think that's the case. I think you can do both and I'm really trying to show that you can do both. You can be an advocate for others but you can also care about things that may seem a little more materialistic. So that's my point of view and I've started to just not care about what others may think or I'm making myself not care because my boyfriend always has to tell me like oh, why does it matter what they're gonna think right because you like it you have fun with it why does it matter and it's so true like if you enjoy something it should not matter what other people may think because they're not living your life you are and yeah i just 
I don't want to limit my opportunities and my passions because of what others may think. So they don't know me, right? If they if they truly think that I don't care about those things, then they don't know me because I do, and I I shouldn't have to perform on social media if like for other people and that's where the whole like performative activism really does come in is that it like it's causing people on social media especially instagram to be like oh i'm a like i'm an advocate for this and then they like go like silent for months and never talk about anything like people with big following and with a big following and i feel like we shouldn't judge each other if we are an advocate for these things on are not or not it really matters what you do and your actions in the real world because a post is not gonna like a black square is not gonna change things you know but being a voice in your community and being a voice for your vipoc friends in real life that's where the change really does matter so I just wanted to say that if you guys were also feeling this, um, I know it's so easy to feel that way and feel guilty about maybe not making like uh, like some political video or something like that, but it really does matter what you do in real life off camera and um, offline. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that in case any of you guys were feeling that way because I definitely was and then I started to think like, what I do in real life is what really changes lives of others and not this post I may have made, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that as well. But now I am going to uh, kind of show you guys my outfit once I get dressed and go pick up a few things for my fall outfits video, my fall haul video that I also have planned. I think I'm gonna do the haul first and then the outfits video the following um as the following video because i am doing sunday and wednesday uploads now because i did get some requests to do wednesdays instead of thursdays so i'm still going to keep the two videos a week it's just going to be sundays and wednesdays so thank you so much for watching this video so far now i'm going to jump in and show you guys my outfits here is my outfit and I put on jeans for like the first time in probably, um, I don't know, like four or five months. <laughs> I'm not joking. So yeah, I put on some jeans. These are some ripped skinnies from, I think it's The Gap. They're so comfy, they're so stretchy, and they run true to size. And then I'm wearing my Doc Martin sandals, which have been a favorite of mine. Like I really, really love these. They're so cute and comfy and chunky and I love it. And then I'm wearing just a nude bralette underneath and then I'm wearing this new um, shirt I got from Urban Outfitters. And it's lightweight, very thin material for uh, summertime, but transitioning to fall, that's why I put on some jeans to kind of make it summer to fall outfit. And then I'm going to wear my um and then i'm going to wear my um brand new belt bag fanny pack and i wear it like this and it's so cute it's this leathery faux leather material and i just wear it like this it's gold and i got this one from h&m absolute favorite staple and yeah this is the finished look all right, everyone, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and comment down below. If you have any other video requests, I would love to um, kind of just hear your opinions on maybe something you want to see in the future. And yeah, make sure you stick around for more videos because I have some really cool ones coming up. Bye, everyone.